What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be back with another squad builder. I'm getting a lot of people asking me for a beastly Argentina squad for under 2100 team strength. So look, as I always say lads, you can just get Messi, put him up front and then put a couple of 50 overall rated players on the bench. But don't be that guy man. I mean try and actually improve uh, your squad building, try and look for players that you might never play with ever again apart when this challenge is over. And there's some really good hidden gems that you can unearth in this. I've got a lot of my hidden gems from the series, from doing events like this, looking for players that have really good player skills, have huge potential, and are super, super cheap. So there are a lot of players that you can buy for this, but Argentina have definitely got one of the best squads you can put together for really cheap. And it is a really, really competitive team. And you've got a really solid bench. You've pretty much got everything in this team. So firstly, we are going to be playing with a 4-2-2-2. And we are going to be having under 2100 base strength. And our collective strength is going to be 2116. And we are under the cap. So we've met all conditions. Everything is perfect. Now, this squad, lads, you're going to notice, right? There's a couple of things. We are going to go over to eFootballDB in a second just to show you and highlight a couple of the players. I mean, everybody knows Julian Alvarez. Everyone is going to know Ocampus. Everyone is going to know Lissandro Martinez. I'm using his Manchester United card here. That was in the pack. But you can as equally use his uh, normal card as well. Your team strength will just be a tiny bit more... Uh, or a tiny bit less, um, but yeah, all of these players, you're going to notice one thing with all of these players, right? We are going to be using uh, players with unwavering form, so this has been something that I, I always kind of stress, especially if you're a newcomer to the game, I can't stress enough how important unwavering form is. So when we start at the goalie all the way through to the front, this starting 11, this entire starting 11, right? Before we even get into their stats, their skills, uh, their play style, anything at all right before we get into anything we're going to notice that every single one of these players has got unwavering form unwavering form rinse and repeat every single player in the starting 11 has got unwavering form right so the reason for this if you are aware of it is obviously to get your team to have good form arrows in game right so it, it just improves your chances of getting your team in proper form arrows and when they have the proper form arrows if they've got the up form arrows if it's on fully up they get a boost to their stats and if it's on the second level they get a boost to their stats but if it's down if you've got a player in the red you will uh you will lose stats so it, it can make a big difference especially especially in this challenge here so pretty much every single player on this starting 11 as well as a couple of subs on our bench um our unwavering form and this kind of dictates our starting 11 it dictates our formation it dictates our tactics and then on the bench as usual, we have a couple of low-rated players. But even somebody like this, right? We'll have a look at this guy in a second, lads, uh, in a little bit more detail, right? Unwavering form. He's 68 overall, so he brings down that base strength without having to be a white bencher and still having an option off the bench if one of our centre-back pairings of Rojo and Martinez are down, right? On the odd chance that they are. This guy has got blocker and interception. Excellent stats that you need if you are a defensive-minded player. We've also got Pavon. We've got Garnacho, we've got Bondia, we've got Moreno. Like all of these guys here, you will see most of these guys here have unwavering form as well. So we're just maximizing our chances. This guy has got standard, Garnacho's got standard. But what we'll be using Garnacho for is a different type of game. Obviously, Araujo as well. You will notice here that he has got super sub. So we've got a couple of super subs on the bench as well. Um, as well as guys that have got really like specific skills such as track back or one touch pass or weighted pass if we want to bring somebody in off the bench or of course of course we could start whoever is up in form and we could change around this team quite a bit so we could do that if the team kind of suits it and we get player skill levels or whatever uh, or the player level of whoever we want to play um, is going to be matched right so the one thing i would also recommend lads and i'm going to go out and do it right here in real time is to go out and actually train your players up right now be very careful when you have your team done okay don't worry about team play style don't worry about anything pick your starting 11 get it under the cap of 2100 and then go into your team and then you can sort your players by literally just pressing square or x on the xbox go to filters choose argentina and then pick maybe four or five players that you're going to boost up uh, their team play style levels with right so for us for example if we wanted to upgrade uh, rojo he's at 91 so we don't really need to touch him but say for let's see who else is there uh we have this guy dominguez let's see what his rating is so his out wide is 72 okay so if we wanted to we can boost up his 
his rate with this formation, right? Montiel is probably a good choice. He's got 62. So all we're going to want to do is go in, level up the training, right? Don't give him that much. Obviously, you can just give him maybe a 1,000, depending on how many you have. If you don't have this, it's not a massive deal. Um, but all we're going to be doing is upgrading his play style proficiency. And we'll be doing this with a couple of players. We can max out because we're not going to probably be using these players again. Don't touch any of his ratings. I know you'll be tempted to use up the rest of your stats. You don't need to and don't touch it because it will boost the player's skill uh, or an overall. And that will, you know, like upset the actual team strength of your teams. So Alvarez as well is another one that we can boost up. He's got 57. We might actually train up Alvarez. He's... He's a fairly decent player. We might do a player review on him because he's an excellent finisher and he's got really, really good stats uh, to bring in off the bench as well. I like his card, actually. I like Alvarez's card. He has a wavering form, which is rare for a, a forward this young. Um, and all we're going to be doing again, lads, is rinsing and repeat. We're going to go in and we're going to max him out at 97 and that'll do it. We don't need to go to 99 on him. And then when we go back, we're going to be getting that boost to our overall. We're going to be getting our boost to our overall uh, abilities of the players. And we're also going to be getting a boost to the team overall of how they're actually going to play. They are going to be much improved um, compared to, you know, before we do this. So if you have a couple of spare trainers, lads, don't be afraid to splash it out and be able to kind of like boost up your players this way. Because it does make a big difference, trust me. You will see when we go in, we're going to get a boost to the players' overalls. We're going to get a boost to the team play style proficiency but it comes at no cost to the team strength so when we go back in here we will notice now that our team strength and our team play style level is is still okay we've just improved our team play style proficiency as you will see here so don't train up the players' abilities. Train up that if you want to do it. We've raised now to, to 92. So the likes of Alvarez, he's going to get one boost. Now, if you raise it higher than 95, you'll get a plus two on all their overalls. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. So every single player here that we have is going to get plus one to their overall abilities, plus one to their overall rating is what I should say. Um without touching the base strength or anything like that. If you go with the team play style level, ours is at 92. If you go with it at above that, right? So say, for example, we were to put Garnacho in there, you will see that once we go above this, it should, let me see, it should, maybe it's 99. I think it is 99 that we actually need to go up there. But the players will get up a boost on that. Yeah, you can see there that he's got 83. So you can see that some of the players will get two levels to their boost, such as Martinez there, such as uh, the goalkeeper, uh, such as Gomez and then other players will have one. So the higher your team play style, the more likely it is that you're going to get that overall boost. So guys, we're quickly just going to go over to this eFootball DB, the database, and we're going to have a look at some of these players. Because if you look at the stats, right, you're looking at this guy Vargas, right? This is just a, this is what I like to do, right? Go in and look for players that fit your play style. This guy has got a wavering form. He's got pinpoint crossing. He's got loads of player skills, as you can see there. He's cheap as chips. And he's got 79 acceleration. You're looking for players when you're filling out these squads like this that have really high uh, stats for really, really cheap because you're probably just going to be using this squad for a couple of days um, doing the events and then switching to a new squad or whatever. If you are rinsing and repeating with this squad every week, I do think that you will probably need to, you know, stick to a proper starting 11. And that's why the unwavering form is so important. Like all of these players have unwavering form. They've all really all got a really good mix of... Um, stats and player skills or else they've got something like super sub or they've got a really good player skill uh like fighting spirit or interception and blocker or anything like that there's a reason for picking all of these players uh but just look and have a look yourself and see uh, you know it's very easy if you go in here to the database you just search by nationality um, and it'll bring up all players you can also search by if you know like say ability here you can go down and just search for players that have have unwavering form so it's very very easy to see you know you can also type in your budget you can also type in your overall rating that you want to look min, min and max so there's a lot of easy ways of doing it and you can see right i can get a 77 rated uh defensive midfielder like Paredes who has got a wavering form he's got really good stats that I don't need to train up that much for that position he can just slot into my under 2100 team and we're good to go so that is it for me lads I'll be back quite soon with some gameplay on this I'm going to have a part two of this where we test out this uh, squad but until next time let me know what squad you want me to do next Brazil is up next 
and check out England and Spain if you haven't already. Brazil and France are up next. Hope you guys continue to do these events because you do get free coins, man, and it is quite easy. I think the biggest change with this is that the teams I'm building now are not just top heavy where they're going to be scoring tons and tons of goals because all you needed to do was score goals in the last one. You need to actually get results with this. So this is a way more balanced team, you know, super, super balanced at the back. You've got Martinez and Rojo who've got blocker and interception. You've got really good right and left backs that are fast and that are effective that keep the team strength down. And then up front, you've got Gomez, who we got on the free spin. So Gomez was basically somebody that we got on the nominating contract here as well. So if you wanted to get him, He's part of the all-time greats, lads. So if you want to go and get him, you can just use your nominating contract. We had four, yeah, four or five-star nominating contracts. Again, an exceptional card. This guy is unbelievable, especially if you train him up. Now, you don't need to train him up for this challenge, but we have gone over and we've got this guy on nominating contract. You can use his regular version as well. You could also get Messi into this squad or Maradona if you keep him at their base level by removing Gomez and removing maybe one more or two more players. Obviously, you are going to put lesser players on the bench, but you can only bring on five subs, so it is kind of understandable. But that is it, lads, for me. I'll be back quite soon with another video, and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.